I wanted to show you today a little bit about Magnifique. This is such an amazing upscale, high resolution enhancement tool uh, by Javi Lopez. And it's hard to explain how well it really works without showing you. So I'm going to show you and I apologize because it's difficult to get the screen small enough so that you can see the entire image in one um, swoops. But I try to enlarge or I try to shrink the screen or reduce the uh, zoom out some so that you would see a little bit better, but it's still a little difficult. These are nine by 16 um, yeah, aspect ratios. And these images that I upscaled today, I'm doing some images that I generated in Niji 6. And I wanted to kind of clear them up a little bit and they're pretty blurry. There's quite a few. Um, and I wanted to eventually do something with these, maybe make them into a video, some type of a little movie there. But First, I wanted to clarify them some. So I'm just doing the basic two-time upscale, and I optimize it for arts and illustration. You have these choices that are over here. Um, and for the up upscale, you can all go all the way up to 16x. Um, it's kind of hard sometimes to get that depending on where you're going to be using that. A lot of platforms do not accept that size of uh, resolution. So I usually just stick with two times, and I also don't like to burn up too many credits if I can help it. I put the prompt in and I use the prompt from here on my mid journey um, page, just copied and pasted it there and it works best. You can add additional details. If you use the original prompt that works the best according to Javi, but you can add additional details if you want to see additional things in there or things change or the style. And for creativity, I have it set to three. I'm not very adventurous. I kind of don't take it all the way up to 10. I'm pretty comfortable with three. It can do quite a bit, as you'll see. I have the HDR set to one. Let me see if that will give me, it increases the definition and detail, uh, but it can result in images with artificial appearances or blotches at high value. So I used to just keep it pretty low. The resemblance, I went backwards a little bit because lower values, it gives more freedom to the, uh, to Magnifique to generate and hallucinate a little bit more so that it can add more details as it sees fit. And this is the fractality. The fractality is, it gives you advanced control over your prompt in intricacy per square pixel. And if the lower fractality, it's less detail, but it gives you less, it results in less glitches overall. So I usually just kind of keep it kind of low around one or two or three. I don't like to burn through stuff if I can help it. And I have it set at the automatic engine instead of one of the other ones. I have good results with those. And then I hit upscale for each of these. You can drag and drop more images in as you go. And since I had several of the same, um, the same prompt, I went ahead and dropped them all in there and one at a time, and I hit upscale for each one. So this is the results. Pretty mind blowing though. Honestly, these pictures are pretty detailed overall. And I'll show you on this screen so you can see a little bit bigger. This is the, the full picture here. And here you're seeing a portion of it, but I'll start, here's the slider thing. You usually have to find it up there, the arrows. And just to start, just take a look quickly as I go from before to after. The detail is just incredible, you know? I'll go down to the bottom here so you can see, because there's details even on the floor, on the floor of this scene. Look at that, it just creates fish, adds so much detail to all these things. This thing here in the bottom, it's just amazing, incredible. You can't even tell all that stuff is out there um, by looking at it and that the, it can imagine these things and create it is incredible. I'm going to go further up here. So one slowly so you can see, look at that. All the way again, just the details on the right hand side Um, it's just amazing. Waiting for this to slow down. Okay, we back, Kipple. Going back over again. He's a mermaid up here that you can't really tell until you slide it back and forth. So. There's one. I can go just make sure you can see the top. This is incredible. 
makes the bubbles more clear as things dropping out of the fish there. All kinds of marine life there. This is the second picture. And I'll start, I guess, in the middle. So before, and look at the clarity. Now, it's just amazing. There's flowers now that are blossoming on that tree. You can see details in the way that the structures are. You can see the fish scales and the tail clearly make out what these creatures could be swimming in the background. I'll go down to the bottom here so you can see. And that's what the magic of Magnifique is. We just, I enjoy putting things in here just to see what will happen. If you look down in the bottom corner here, you could see there wasn't anything. And it added in something just to kind of give it some um, flair. Some people do not like that, and they would rather it doesn't add to the images, but in a lot of cases, such as these, this is straight from, I upscaled it in Niji, or Mid Journey, on Discord, and I ended up with a pretty unclear image, but this is unbelievable. Look at the scales and the fish in her skin, hair, arms, everything, just unbelievable and even up here in the sky all this definition as we travel further up you see incredible this this it's such a different image it was nice to begin with but then it, it just becomes amazing so here's another one here and this is actually the first time i'm seeing these images as well so we have the two mermaids that are chilling here, having a little chat in a parlor or living room. Oh, wow. How beautiful is that? It even adds like more color. It seems like saturation. Look at the detail on her top, the hair out with, you know, outside the room. So she doesn't have really a face here or hand. And now she's kind of got a gill. It's got one hand and one gill, but that's more than she'd be working with before. So incredible. And at the bottom there, wow. I'll move up further up here. So you can see what's going on up here. What is the difference? Here is the magic. Wow. That's just amazing. Yeah, all is here. I think we got all the way. Did I go to the floor? Will we go to the bottom here? And look underneath the stool, the bench that she's sitting on. Wow. It adds detail to the floor. It makes it look a little bit more luxurious in there. No? And at the very top. Just so you could see what is the sky or the top of the water looking like. Amazing. And here is another. These images are really great. And um, I was able to find the prompt for these using a GPT from Civitai, actually, the C Civit AI, and it is a, it's called Prompt Bot, and it gives you prompts for, that are customized for stable diffusion, and I asked for certain prompts for, that would be stunning anime images, when I found out that Niji 6 was out, and that made it a lot easier, so those prompts, even though they're Customized for stable diffusion, they work quite well in Mid Journey as well. So I like to use those. That's within ChatGPT Plus. If you if you have ChatGPT Plus, a paid subscription, it you can use the GPTs, and I've used them for all sorts of things like that to help build. And as I go, I can add more details like these. If I wanted it to be a little bit more three D, a little bit more lifelike, then I would go ahead and add that into the prompt. There we go. Just stunning the creatures. They're a little bit wild shape, but this is make believe, so that's okay. It's a futuristic underwater city with mermaids, so they don't exist really. Well, how does any of this have to exist? Right. And there's another one. You go. Sorry, at the bottom here. And this looked really interesting, and I couldn't wait to see what happened. 
Wow. So it's actually giving us human type people. Look at the signs that are on the buildings and uh, on the billboards here. In up here, there's like an image on the screen over here. Lights down here. And then just check out the difference when we go to the original image from Nijin and watch it come to life. It's incredible. Could be. You see the pictures they are changing, the images that are on the billboards. And also look up here at the structures to see some of the details and even with these jellyfish that are floating around. How incredible is that? Bubbles and all. This gives a lot more definition. You can even see backpacks that they're wearing. No, no what does it look like? Yeah, you can't. It really doesn't look like anything, just like blob sort of is an idea of people rather than actual form structures. This looks like it could be like a patio restaurant or something. You can see just the bubbles coming off around the tentacles, the detail there. Creatures, look at the lights here. This was just a form and now it's a light picture. It looks like we go to the top. This, these pictures I thought would be a great example because there's so much happening in each one. If you look over here on this side here, the corner, you'll see the vast difference. That out. Wow. These up here, these are just amazing. Even the top of the water, you can see the surface it looks like. Incredible. Did it not me? So, I think this is our last one, and this is the bottom, and it has one of those AI watermarks on there that the AI puts on there itself, so Magnifique makes it a little bit fancier. Look at that. And you can see, I see stained glass looking windows here. What are we going to get? Or after? Oh, look at that. There's a whole person. <laughs> Sometimes it will, in a little while, I don't know what this is supposed to be here, but Magnifique gave us a little person, human structure. And back in Florence, look at her hair. It gave her a little bit of body and definition in her hair. And the things that are floating around up there, to see the details in the windows. Oh, wow. I like the vegetation, the what it does to that. Go in this section. What are we going to get? Wow. Unbelievable. Look at how the details here on these columns, some of these ornamental pieces here. So it's pretty, it's cool, but it's not clear. Hey, this is what it could be. Even the shadows are showing up. And then let's go to the, or the tops here. And we got them. Very cool. See, whoa, look at these lights here. There weren't any at all over here. Boom. Now we have texture that's added. Here you can see this individual stones, bricks. And let's see up here, all the way to the surface, a little bit of sparkle here, as if the lights are shining. This thing has a mouth type thing going on here. This before, after. I like how it takes things like, you just don't know what this stuff could be here, but it just figures, man, let's make it into something. Sorry, lost the little pulley thing. Oh, there's one more. Here we go. The light shining through from the surface. Beautiful. And let's see. It's so long. Wow, that's a big difference though, right? We start from here and pay attention to where, like, over here, these people, things standing here, and what's going to happen with these stores. Wow, she's got a dress on over there. There's lights. It looks like a place you might want to visit if you could breathe underwater. Look at her hair on the bottom here. And see all the style. She's got bouncy curls. More wavy girls.
there's bubbles floating around. People are wearing clothes instead of just forms. You can go down further. So you can see the very bottom. So it just takes this random stuff and just makes it into something a little bit more interesting. Ooh, sorry, I keep losing. Cool. Thing. So, yeah. Wow. Oh, she's got on a whole outfit here. I see. Belt and everything. You can tell. You can see it. It looks like a wood, a wooden uh, patio porch deck thing she's on. Balcony. Go further up here. What is happening up this way? Oh, so we have more restaurant facilities. I'll check this thing out here. I guess it made it like some type of sewing thing. Because there were some blobs floating around. So that makes sense. <laughs> Amazing. And oh, we have more fun. This is the tippy top here. Let's go. Oh yeah, I was wondering what these could be. So this is what they could be. Pretty cool. They have faces. There's words over here in this sign on the left here. We have random things flying. There's the surface. We see bubbles coming down, the light shining through. Amazing detail. And not just making it into something, but giving these fish texture and features. Pretty wild. So, this is Magnifique. 